Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ken Frederick Podcast, episode 98, Dark Tower Spoiler Movie Review. I almost forgot what we were doing. Uh, I want to say thank you for listening. If you just stumbled across us on the interwebs, check us out at kfpodcast.com, at kfpodcast on Facebook, at Ken Fred Podcast on the Twitter, at Ken Frederick Podcast on Instagram and YouTube, and search for us on our new SoundCloud page, at Ken Frederick Podcast. Good job. Not Thanks. even looking at him. Hey. Yep. So we got the crew here for our normal movie reviews. We got Justin. Yo. We got Lance. Hey. We got Brock. Hi. And Donald. Hello. So. Um, also, dude. Also, dude. We just saw the Dark Tower. Now, does anybody here know any of the content before going into the movie? No. Vaguely. Okay. You didn't read him. I thought for sure you would have read the books. I read the. I read when I say the, you, I mean I Lance. The, I read the novels, but I read it in high school, so I can't. I I Which was like that. forty years that ago. Was a really long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was back when blackboards were still in session. I didn't realize this was before the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Predates the Bible. <laughs> Old ass Lance, back yeah. all those years ago. So, so you anybody read the comic books? No, I think I bought the first one, and I didn't. I think somewhere in that stack of books behind you over there is a Dark Tower book of some nature. I think I got one in free graphic novel day or something like that. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So we went in with absolutely no, mm-hmm. no, yeah, no, pre- no, pre- yeah, no, no pre- uh, expectations. Right. So it's getting kind of a low review online, mm-hmm. but I feel like the consensus was it was okay. Yeah, well, let's yeah. go around and give our non-spoiler review. Uh, all right, Justin. I really enjoyed it. I, I'm, I, all I right, thanks, Don, Justin. I told Don <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, waiting for our food that it's it's hard. I'm, I'm having trouble coming up with a number for a rating. <laughs> Because he was worried about this while we were waiting yeah, for sheets. He's sitting there worried about the number he's going to give. Like anyone time. reads or anyone cares. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why. They were giving him time to come up with his rating. Usually, I need to like process this stuff, and I come up all the end, and I'm like, uh, three, whatever. And I I can't compare this to the Marvel movies because it's different. But well, it's not a Marvel movie. I know, and that's what I mean. So it's, it's just I'm having a little trouble in my brain figuring out where I want to put it. Well, it's a good thing we're not asking that. We just ask if you like the <laughs> movie. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, Lance. Your review? You didn't even give a review. I, I really liked it. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> That's why you eat cinnamon rolls. Hum, hum. With, with quote-unquote white chocolate. Yeah. All right, Lance. Thoughts? Non-spoiler right. thoughts. Non-spoiler thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> thoughts. Thoughts. Thank you. It yes. was a. I'll. I'll. I'll echo and expand on Justin. Um, it was a good movie. Um, cinematography was really good. Character development was really good. Um, truthfully, unless you ne- unless you were a Stephen King fan, you wouldn't have known this was a Stephen King movie or based on a Stephen King novel. Yeah. Series of novels. They did Series tell you at the end. They did, but. <laughs> you have had to stay for the end. So it doesn't really count as a Stephen King movie because no. someone else did it. No. Well, well, he's there's a bunch of his movies that I don't think he had a hand in. He just wrote the yeah. screenplay okay. or the base, the but source material. This is, this is, but this is one of his non-horror, you know, novels. So yeah. I liked it. Brock, it's my turn. Yeah, I think I'm in the minority here. I did not like this movie. Okay. Hmm. I couldn't tell what it was trying to be. Was it trying to be horror? Was it trying to be action? Was it trying to be sci-fi? Because it just kind of had a little bit of all those things, but not enough of any of them to really qualify as any of that genre of movie. It just seemed like a lot. And, and I couldn't really get into the characters. The kid was annoying. And the gunslinger, he was all right. But I agree. I feel like it was like you, you basically just didn't, you didn't have a lot of time to get to know the characters. Mm-hmm. It went by very quick. Yeah. I will say one of the things I do remember about the book mm-hmm. is that the gunslinger is sort of this anonymous figure. There isn't a lot of character development that goes with him. Okay. So it's almost like the his purpose is more of his character than him being a person. Fair enough. Donald. Um, I I liked it. I want I I like Edris Elba a lot. 
I think I would watch anything that he's in. I think he's a really good actor. I think he sells his roles really, really good. Gets in them. <laughs> I mean, this picture of him on the side of the room with cinnamon rolls. Like, <laughs> sells rolls. <laughs> um, I liked it. It was short. A lot of people complain online that it's it, it's it's only an hour and, uh, or ninety. What was it? Ninety five, ninety six. I thought it yeah. went by quickly. I mean, like I said, I don't really know a lot about this world or the movie, so I wasn't expecting a lot, but. I get what Brock's saying. Like it doesn't, you know, some parts are scary, then some parts are action. Not a lot of depth to it, but entertaining. I mean, the kid wasn't annoying, and he was good. Matthew McConaughey was okay, uh, but you know, some really. I think the concept of it is cool. Like I like. There's some things to it. How they explain how it works and how the world works, and you know, there. I like things that combine magic and like technology and guns, and so that whole feel to the universe I, I i enjoyed and i think it played well on the screen all right well um let's just jump into spoiler reviews spoilers oh, he's on it doubt it in today yeah. then they phoned it in well he can he can edit that out okay yeah. he can fix it he can make it better right. he can make it better in post oh there you go bro all right <laughs> um so let's get into some spoiler reviews How about justin you? what me yeah, you didn't give us any reviews. Well, I mean, start, I, start with the spoiler. All right. Well, I liked it. I did find the kid mildly annoying. Like I don't know, just with you all you find all kids mildly annoying. I did too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. I enjoyed all the references to Stephen King books and trying to find them throughout the. And I think I found five. Name them. So in the beginning at the, the at the uh, psychiatrist's office, they have a picture of the The Shining. Uh, hotel. The hotel in The Shining, mm-hmm. and they and they mentioned The Shine because the kid's telepathic, mm-hmm. and that's. So, do you think that was a direct <laughs> reference to that? Were the kids in The Shining? Because I, I don't remember. Yeah, because the, 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 the was a long time ago. The black guy that's uh, the works there is like you got the shine on you, and he, they talk about how he's able to, and they mention that in The Shining. Oh, okay. And then the, when he watches the the one guy cross, the, walking his dog across the street is Cujo. It's Cujo, I saw he's that. He's playing with the car that's Christine. You saw that. And then they have. The uh, Andy Dufresne's picture of that chick from Shawshank Redemption in the gun store. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I missed that one too. And then, uh, uh, you know, so it's four. That's the only four I could find. Well, then you had the clown right? Oh, then the clown right? The Pennywise. Yeah, the Pennywise uh, fairground. With, with, yeah. with, the, with the balloons. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his was the most. It actually like, said, it, it actually said, it actually said uh, yeah. the name. <laughs> yeah, that was so, good. That, yeah. that one didn't even count as finding it because it was just part of the movie. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my five that I found so far. But I'm, I'm sure, sure there's a. And that's the thing. You spend the whole time watching it for Easter eggs. You don't really know what's going on. Like Nothing related to Carrie? Well, I don't know because, there, like... Maybe there could be. I don't know about that. Telepathic type well, stuff. Yeah. The, um, the girl with the goats, she reminded me of Carrie. And she did. Well, I also feel like that house is tied into something they go to in that Brooklyn yeah. area. Yeah. That address might be an address he uses somewhere else. I feel like when if you're going to sit... I, I, I bet you give it a week. And someone will dissect the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it'll be it'll, it'll be on Newsarama sure and all that. Those, the codes where they were trying yep. to do the portals, yeah. they'll have some meaning. Yeah. Nineteen nineteen yeah. and sixteen ten or sixteen eleven, and what was the other one like? Um, oh, it's like sixteen forty. Nineteen nineteen. Yeah, I'm sure there's got to be yeah. something in there for Pet yep. Cemetery. Mm. Yeah, it could be. Which I I like that. Like that may that almost makes me want to read and like. But I'm not going to read all his freaking books because there's too many. There's a lot, yeah. There's well, a lot. What I found is there aren't as many books as I thought there were. I think there's only eight, eight or nine books in the series. The problem still nine books. I mean, not very long. <laughs> no. Well, no, they are. Not, they That's are? the problem. They're not the first one, one. The first one starts out like 250 pages, and then it's like 290 pages, and then it's like 310, and then it's like 490. And then six ninety, and yeah. then seven hundred. Yeah, and that's not they, happening. They just keep getting bigger, and the last one I think is well over eight hundred pages long. Maybe Lance here could read these books. The rest of us don't have that kind of attention I've span to read that. The Harry Potter books. Well, you'll do it on tape. <laughs> got big. Yeah, you'll do it on tape. If they have Dark Tower no, and tape. No, no way. No, not an, an eight hundred page book. It would probably be well over twenty four hours of audio. Yeah, I'm not so all, <laughs> like long books like that. I'll, I read. Uh-huh. The only reason I started doing the audiobooks is because I, when I went down to see my mom, I had seven hours in the car to kill. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's a good way to kill time instead of just sitting there listening. It's to Justin music. driving, killing time. <laughs> 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 All right. So what's your spoiler review? Um, 
the one thing that stood out to me during, and, and this is kind of a big filming mistake, if if you sit down and think about what they do with hair and makeup, that kid's hairstyle. He went from it was short, and then it was long, or it was longer, and then it got short, and then it was long, and then it got short, and it was like from scene to scene, you could tell where they had cut things together. Oh, because his he had different hair, he had a different haircut. In one scene to the next, in four different places. That kid was so annoying, I didn't even look at his face. I don't think he was that annoying. I mean, there's been some really annoying kids in movies, and he... Well, he's not He's not the Transformers girl. Yeah, I mean, he's not her. He's not Transformer girl level. What'd you just kill? What'd you just kill? A fly? (laughs) (laughs) So proud of you. So angry about it, too. (laughs) Him. <laughs> you looked at me like, like, like you just slayed a dragon that was at my house for the longest time. I was like, "What did you just kill?" And you're like, "What are your kids?" And I was a fly. Yep. All right, off topic, but go oh, ahead. Nope, another you didn't one. Get it. I did. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break while Ken kills fly. That's a different fly. That is a big fly. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right, Lance, you go. Yeah, go ahead. Justin's done talking about the kid's hair changing. and. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably one of the best, probably the movie or the part I liked the best was the um, how they actually took the world and actually, you know, you actually had the feeling that his world was what our world was now and... They've, they've done that before. Terry Brooks has done that with Shinar and a couple yeah. of things where they know, had like amusement parks and cities yeah, and all there, that. There was there was a, there was a, a cataclysm or a, a catastrophe, some sort of cataclysm. Yeah, you know, Thunder of the Barbarian style. Where yeah, magic takes over. And, yeah, oh and Thunder of the Barbarian. Yeah, <laughs> have fun looking up that picture. Ah, oh, I bet you I found it right now. It's easy. <laughs> Love get Thunder. A, get a nice picture of Ukla. Yeah, yeah Ukla the Mock. <laughs> Um, but you know that's the, true. Yeah, I didn't think of that. That's the way the way the way they went through it, and the fact that they didn't sort of belabor it. Then also the the sort of the underground of people from other dimensions that were actually living in New York City and you know Keystone Earth. That gave me like a like a Men in Black kind of feel. Yeah. Like you know they're walking around with like a fake alien skin, like mm-hmm. human yeah. skin on, and then they're hiding out in the underground. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Mm-hmm. And Matthew McConaughey, I mean, he played a good. A good devil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, Why was his name Walter? I don't know. Of all names. Is, is, I don't know. Again, none of us read the books. Are you read? Is he supposed to be the devil or is he just a, yeah. like a, a big demon? No, like he's, a, he's, 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 the, he's the bringer of chaos. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they don't really say for sure. They I mean, a sorcerer. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he got killed with bullets to the head and then, you know. Yeah. But then is, then was he whistling at the end of the movie? I guess I left yeah, during the credits. credits. At the, what happened at the end? They just had him whistling. They showed him, or just they a whistle. They just had a whistle that, like he was doing throughout the movie, and like a black screen. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. He probably can't ever die. How about the? Um, did he reference that the gunslingers' guns were made out of Excalibur? Yeah, yes, yeah, oh, he, he, was, he was a descendant of Arthur, and the guns were forged from Excalibur. Okay, I thought that was interesting. So basically, there's an infinite number of realities in the circle that they have. So you can have the, that almost happen in different dimensions. So they've been going through. So never run out of Excaliburs. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Brock, things you liked, spoiler wise. I did like Matthew McConaughey. He played a good evil character. He was interesting. And I thought that the kid was a hell of an artist. He, he drew some pretty good stuff for being a young child. Yeah. Was, There's no Jack Kirby. No. There's no Jack Kirby. <laughs> Who is, really? Yeah. Well, look at it. He was better than Lightfoot. He could actually draw legs. He could. He, he didn't, didn't draw, draw pockets he on him. He didn't draw faces, though. He didn't draw feet, either. <laughs> yeah. This is the story of a young Rob Liefeld. Yeah. <laughs> this is how he got his power. Yeah. <laughs> the next episode's about all how he got a, a Levi's 501 commercial. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, no, I, I actually up. wish that the movie was about a half hour longer to explain some more things because they didn't really say what, why they were choosing the kids that they chose and what happened with. Them. They had the talent. They had the yeah, shining. They had some the kind shine. of shine. The shine. Whatever, but they could have done a little bit more in the beginning to maybe set up that world. They went right yeah. into it. Right. You and know also, what I mean? like, why? Who are the people that are wearing the fake skin? Why? Are they they're like rat people. Like yeah. Rat people and yeah, people and a little more about like the that final battle with the gunslinger. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. They just got, they, we saw two of them. Mm-hmm. No, but I think they do that because then you could go back and do an, a, a, a movie that's before this. Uh, you know, they always do that crap. I did like the guy that they had playing the gunslinger's 
father. Yeah, he's the former he president on 24. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Or, you know, he used to play or the Allstate the, commercial. The Allstate, yeah. Allstate commercial, but he also played in the Commando, that movie, uh, The Unit. It was, a, it was a TV show. Yeah, The movie. Unit. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> He's a good he's, voice he's good. Guy, so yeah, he's a great voiceover actor. And he believable as his father. Yeah. Because yeah. they kind of resemble. <laughs> they do. Although I kept wanting to say, an accident forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the Gunslinger Oath was kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah, the Gunslinger Oath was interesting. It was a little strange, but, <laughs> you know. I, uh, the, the father faces. The face yeah. of the father. Yeah. And, and, and the face of your father. And, and all that stuff. It's no Green Lantern Oath, but it's uh, a good oath. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was funny that for... Uh, the gunslinger, Idris Elba's beard was so tight. It was so well <laughs> trimmed. I'm like, where is he doing that at? Shouldn't he be a little overgrown? But it was like perfect lines, perfect face, you know. I'm like, you're not shaving anywhere. I don't know where you got that nice trim job up. But, you know, things like you notice the hair, I notice the beard. It's probably because I don't have any hair, so I don't notice hair. <laughs> I notice beards. I really like the... Um, the gun battle scene at the end. I wish there would have been more gunfights. I feel like there yeah. wasn't a lot of there wasn't so a whole lot of anger. action. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of action. I feel like they had to explain a lot yeah. in the story, and they still didn't explain everything. But that scene's yeah. cool when he's reloading like how he was doing and all that. Oh yeah, stuff that was cool. It's I like liked the game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the scene it was at cool. the gun shop whenever the, the guy working there's like, "This isn't me. I'm not doing it. Don't shoot me." Because <laughs> he was controlling people. It's so like, cool how he knocked him out. Yeah, yeah. The gun to not to hit yeah. I mean, he he did some cool. I like the scene in the village when he shoots, when he listens for the uh, yeah. guy and shoots him. Yeah. I, I would have liked to seen a lot more of that. Mm-hmm. I I don't know if they're planning on doing like trilogies of this movie, but I think they I think they should have started off with a movie, like they said, that's just the fall of the gunslingers, and then this could have been like a a sequel to it right. or the third movie. You know what I mean? I would have liked to have seen a. And I think, honestly, I think that would have done better than this one's going to do. Yeah, big, th- this is like they tried to get the kid in the movie and do all that part. Or yeah. a, a whole gunslinger war against demonic forces. I'm, I'm that would have been. And try and figure out what. If they tried to pull material from multiple books to put this together. It feels like they probably did. Um, yeah. W- one, of the, one of the reviews that I read, their criticism was that it felt like a fan edit of a few movies yeah. to pull everything together. They said I it was, was kind of cut together a little weird and there wasn't enough development on really any one area except the kid. The kid was developed pretty well. Yeah. But like you said, you don't understand who the skin people are. You don't really understand what his mo- what the man in black's motivations are other than he wants to take down the tower. Yeah, you take down a tower and you can come into our world then and combine all the worlds. I mean, they really didn't they really didn't talk about I, I guess if you take the one of the children who are the have the the shine in them, suck their brain energy out and you can shoot it at the dark tower. I didn't really understand yeah, that whole, yeah. that whole weird. convoluted and it sounded like screams. And if the tower is keeping everybody out, why is there so many evil beings already on Earth? Yeah, that's what I'm. Because there's tears. That's how those the, well, the Pennywise. Yeah, that's how like Christine there's, there's and. Evil, then there's demonic. Yeah, mm. that's how all those like evil things from all the other movies probably got across. Well, it's even where they, yeah, where they showed that that one thing was a shapeshifter and like was, act, and I think that's actually what Pennywise does in the in the it movie. Yeah, he he's form. I he mean, looks like a giant demon monster, but he chooses stuff that scares people, like clowns and different things like that. Um. I think that we're supposed to only know what the kid knows. I think this is the the journey of the kid. Maybe he's actually going to be become the last gunslinger. Yeah, yeah. Because isn't that what the comic book was called? Yeah, it was, it was a gunslinger born or something like. Yeah, that. there's a bunch there of like yeah. A, yeah I, I bet you that's based on the kid. I'm not knowing anything. So that's why I feel like this is just the beginning of a story where like he's going to learn how to be a, a, a gunslinger with the shine and like. You think they'll cross over any of his these properties into these movies? Make cameos. I'm sure, because I think in the books there's some pretty big care like characters. Yeah, they taught there's 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 things like I think that the clown cameos in the book as like he goes by a real name. Okay, like there's a name he goes by because if I, I never read it like the the book form of it, the, mm-hmm. but there was a name he went by when he like wasn't the clown, like something that they called him. Yeah, and I guess that character is in the Dark Tower series. Okay, like whatever his name is, he doesn't appear as like a clown or any of that, but he appears as like this creepy dude named something. And you're supposed to know that's who that is. Okay, I think there's a lot of other characters that appear in different forms like that. Yeah, you know. 
Which is fine by me. Like, if it makes me want to dig and look, research it, and yeah. go to other, check I, out other stuff. I researched a little bit, but, I mean, there's a lot on it. There's oh, a uh, lot to read. I, I was like, I'll read some of the book synopsises, and I'm like, but these are long. Like, God, and I'm like, I'll be here all day <laughs> reading through all this stuff. This ain't worth it. It's funny that we can't even get through the book synopsis. <laughs> well, yeah, they're just confusing because they're just like this guy enters this and then he does this and this. And it's not really. It's Wikipedia is not really well written. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's any jabron can go. On. Yeah, so it's hard to like really pick up what it's really about, what's really going on with it. I don't know. And shared universes are the way to go anymore. So I can yeah. Say them. Well, maybe with the It movie coming out in October, uh, <laughs> Idris uh, Elba shows up at the end and kill and kills him. Well, I mean, I th- also it's supposed to be multiple parts. This isn't gonna. It's gonna be a trilogy. Yeah, they want to do like a trilogy with it. Well, I think they're at least doing two because this whole. I think it's supposed to be all the kids, and then the next one's all of them as adults. Right. Right. Like dealing with it. That's actually kind of cool. So. Well, that's how the the miniseries show mm-hmm. went. It was like yeah. a, a four night event, yeah. two hours a piece. It was like an eight hour show when you watched it. It was great. When Stephen King used to do all those uh, the perfect, st- or not the perfect storm, the, what was the storm no, one? The storm of the Century. Yeah. And he had a couple of those he put out. There were like four night events. Ugh. Storm perfect of the Century st- was good. Perfect Storm's a, the worst movie. Perfect Storm's a terrible movie mm-hmm. with... No, wasn't, wasn't the other one... Um... The, the one with the virus. The yeah, that was the virus. There was a virus one. There was Storm of the Century. I forget all of them, but you know, right. whatever. Ready for movie ratings? Sure. I mean, are we, how far are we in? It? Yeah, we probably about twenty minutes. All right. All right. I don't know. I don't have anything else to talk about with yeah, this movie. Yeah, uh, enough about it. Yeah, it's only what it is. So yeah, so. They can, right. make, they can make more movies going forward, or they can probably end here if it does bad and it doesn't really leave you, you know. There's a decent uh, number of people there tonight. Yeah, maybe it'll do well. It, well, was, it was really anticipated. I pulled up um, Dark to- or the bo- Rotten Tomatoes, and unfortunately it's only got an 18% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, but the want to see was 98%. Yeah. So a lot of people wanted to see this movie. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It, it, uh, like I said earlier to the you guys before the podcast a lot of the bad ratings it was stupid critic shit it, it, it was that you know just the typical stuff that all critics bitch about action movies and lack of like story that. development lack of character yeah. development I, lack I of... there was there was a little bit of a lack of story but yeah you know there's a lot to do and they can do more movies all right all right, so Dawn, you go first. Your rating. Um, I'll give it three bald heads. All right, broccoli. I'll give it a one and a half. Wow. wow. It probably would have been less if I knew more about the source material. So wait a minute. So so Transformers was better than this? Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Lance. I give it three uh, three ebony bald heads. All right. Three cheese wheels. Two and a half bandanas. All right. What color bandanas? I don't know. Whatever you have on file. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, there you go. Go see it for yourself. Check it out. Let us know what you think about it. Yeah. Also, please like, share, subscribe, invite to our stuff. And go check us out on SoundCloud. Yes, please. Later. Thanks, guys. Later. Good night. Later.